Is the weather going to be as hot as the chicken is spicy? Uh, well, not until probably <laughs> tomorrow. Man, your segues are just so good. Uh, <laughs> probably tomorrow we start to see weather turn just a little bit with temperatures back close to the average, but I think we'll be right at average by Wednesday, but still some decent chances of rain for the afternoon on Tuesday. We've got to get through today first, so I think we'll see a few more showers develop, especially down to the south. You see a, a big a cluster of showers down from Prattville down to Wetumpka. All of this will be moving into our eastern zones, which haven't had a whole lot of rain here over the last 24 hours. Look at some of these rainfall amounts, especially in our western viewing area. Five and a half inches in Fayette, over three and a half inches in Tuscaloosa, about five inches down in Greene County, three and a half inches down in, in Hale County. And then you go in East Alabama and you find some spots not even getting a, a quarter of an inch. Folks in Alexander City, only about a trace of rainfall here in the last 24 hours. So some spots have gotten it, some spots haven't. But by tomorrow, I think a decent amount of rainfall around central Alabama. Again, a decent scattering. It won't be the coverage that we see today, but at least another shot at some rainfall. And temperatures right now, everyone on the cooler side of average because of all the cloud cover and rainfall around. Numbers in the 60s still in Coleman, 69 degrees there. And you see the future cast will show waves of showers once again coming in during the afternoon hour. So a little break in the action for some people right now, but look for more widespread rain and maybe some thunderstorms too once we get to say four, five, six o'clock. And that would lead to a kind of messy commute for a lot of folks. So please be careful. This morning was an absolute yard sale out on the roads and today might be the same deal if we get more rain around the Birmingham Metro five to six o'clock. Tuesday looks like rain chances will stay on the scattered end of things in the morning. I don't think we'll see quite the coverage that we saw today and just a few showers around for us for the afternoon and evening on Tuesday. Then by Wednesday, we clear everything out and drier air moves in here. A really nice feeling. Look at that. We clear out all the clouds Wednesday night and nice dry air moves in for Wednesday evening and into Thursday. Wait till you see some of the differences in that forecast. This is Tropical Storm Dorian right now with winds of 60 miles per hour. It is forecast to become a hurricane by tomorrow night into early Wednesday and then possibly impact folks in Puerto Rico and Hispaniola by late Wednesday, early on Thursday. Once it moves near the Bahamas, that's when we'll start to watch it very closely. If it makes this turn toward the Florida in the Gulf of Mexico, that's when our eyes will turn to it and make sure that we're not uh, under any risk. We'll keep you posted. 72 for the morning low tomorrow. Showers will continue tonight with some of them uh, tapering off just a bit. And then scattered showers and storms on Tuesday. Isolated rain possibly on Wednesday morning. And then look at that. Numbers in the 60s in the morning, Thursday and Friday. And drier air all around. Feeling just a little bit like fall out there. Conan, back over to you.